Welcome back to a brand new video on Pocket Pixels. As you guys can see, we are back yet again. And guys, look at this. We've actually got some brand new crate keys. So these are the brand new flourishing flower crate keys. And I'm going to be opening up one in today's video and one next video. They just came out, so be sure to go and actually check them out on the Bycraft as well too. And we are on Pixelmon Yellow. If you guys do want to go ahead and come play with me, it's super awesome. But let's actually go and head over to the crates, guys, to go and get today's episode started off. And hopefully we can actually get something super op from this brand new flourishing crate key this is insane the top one over here is literally a shiny zakian like that is insane i don't know if i'm saying that name right zakian 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 i think that's how you say it but that's crazy we also got a chrysilla over here a shaman that is insane we also got a shiny pocket pixels banuri and a bunch of other ones so yeah definitely be sure to go and check out this crate key there's actually some decent ones in over here though oh my goodness guys for real we even got an ivysaur that's the lowest one yo that's honestly a pretty good one like if we even get that holy this is actually pretty crazy we also got a beautify as well over here this is fire guys cinderace all right without further ado though let's go and actually split it up and let's go and get into the very first crate key in three two one and let's do it 360 baby and then let's go and open this thing up and hopefully fingers crossed we actually do get something pretty insane guys come on come on any second now come on any second now plus can we get something good and what are we about to get a spoink i actually have no clue if that's good or not okay we got a spoink over here let's go ahead and take a look at it over here and it looks like 10 percent chance man i knew it wasn't one of the op ones all right guys anyway we got a spoink maybe not the best but hey it's still a pretty good one since it's in this crate i mean this is like one of the top crates on the server over here also what is this a toe kiss it looks like a pile of dirt or something like what is that guys anyway without further ado though let's actually go ahead over back to home river and take a look at it in the computer all right so we're back home guys let's go ahead and take a look at the pc over here a spoink yeah how could you forget that spoink all right so we're just gonna go and look over here and this is a spoink shiny palette 25 man that kind of sucks all right we're gonna go and actually spawn it in just to go and actually show you guys but this is actually it over here it is literally no way it's literally a spring are you kidding me guys what in the world all right well i am definitely not gonna be using that i mean guys that thing does not look op at all i'm sorry we are swapping you out for the snorlax again just thought it'd spawn in though for a second it looks like our neighbor has also been actually made a bunch of foliage over here got like some trees growing this is op so yeah shout out my neighbor over here mystery man we still don't know who actually owns this area guys but i guess it's like a mystery man so yeah we got this over here and we got like a little pc over here as well too this dude's actually got like a whole entire setup got like a chair got the pc for trading and then over here oh it's joshua's house yo maybe this is not the mystery man because i feel like the mystery man would just like not put his name low key like right on the door but anyway shout out joshua i guess i can't really go in there but this is actually their base and they got a bunch of chests they got the pc it's actually a pretty nice setup my guy shout out we actually got someone right beside us now this is actually kind of awesome bro this is our first like actual neighbor i mean other than this guy this is like a huge house what is that even a neighbor i don't know it's like a whole entire city like look at how big that thing is on the mini map ladies and gentlemen it is huge all right anyway i want to go ahead and actually get today's episode starting off with actually heading over to the arena though ladies and gentlemen and i want to go ahead and hopefully get my torterra up to level oh sorry not the arena the training we want to go and get our torterra to level 75 so if you actually take a look it's currently level 51 but every other pixelmon is over 75 plus so i want to go ahead and get the torterra in the level 75 gang ladies and gentlemen so yeah we're gonna go ahead and make that happen hopefully in today's episode and once again be sure to go and drop on pixelmon yellow guys to go ahead and play with me it's super awesome all right let's just go and get right into it though with the giga impact you guys already know one shot baby let's go i actually use giga impact all the time it's like literally all i need to use on this pixelmon over here boom snorlax with the giga impact is just op oh my goodness wait a second wait am i literally using snorlax right now we're trying to level up to our terror guys what is going on this whole pixelmon video is just a complete fail all right i'm gonna go and actually swap that out right now guys and 
we're gonna go ahead and actually go with the Torterra over here. I actually forget what powers we even got. We got Earthquake, Crunch, Giga Drain, yes, Bites. Okay, we actually do have some decent ones. Earthquake, though, actually seems to be better than Giga Drain, though. Interesting. Usually, the Giga ones are, like, super OP, but let's go with the Earthquake over there. Boom! Yes! One shot. That is insane. And even once we do go and get to 75, it's still gonna be a one shot, boys. It's not really gonna go and improve on the Hapinis and stuff over here, but when we are actually fighting other players, hopefully it will be a bit better, you know what I'm saying? Because if you guys do remember last episode, you know what I'm saying? We fought, like, one dude, and, uh, yeah, we couldn't even kill one of his Pixelmon with my whole entire gang. My whole entire gang versus one of his Pixelmon. We couldn't even do it. It was close, though. It was close, but, I mean, come on, guys. That is just embarrassing. So, yeah, hopefully if we go and get our Torterra at least to 75, then we can at least kill, like, one of that dude's, like, super OP Pixelmon. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and actually make that happen. I'm just gonna be grinding over here for a bit. Let's go and at least get to level 53, though, in this clip of the video. Should be there any second. There we go. Awesome. Anyway, though, I'll meet up with you guys once we do go and get some more levels, though. All right, guys. So, look at this. We just got Leaf Storm, which is actually pretty insane over here. I'm not sure what I want to go and actually give up, though, for Leaf Storm. I'm, I'm actually thinking maybe Bite, but at the same time, Bite is kind of good. So, I might just give up Giga Drain since they're actually both Leafs as well, too. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with, boys. Without further ado, Giga Drain. Bye bye. We're going to go ahead and get rid of you. I'm going to go and actually replace it with a Leaf Storm, which is actually now 130 power. That is crazy. Okay, let's go and actually test it out. And then we got the Leaf Storm right over here. As you, ladies and gentlemen, can see, power 130. That is insane. All right, let's actually go with it and look at that one shot. It literally just did a one shot. That is OP. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and definitely keep using the thunderstorm wait whoa 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 that time it only brought us down to about 60 percent over there okay okay so yeah looks like i can't maybe use it all the time as you guys can see that kind of sucks it's 16 percent right now now what i gotta use guess i gotta use a bite but uh eh, sometimes it does go to work i mean that's not too bad though we still have our rock attack obviously which i'm mainly using earthquake but when you go ahead and run out at least we got that now for a backup which is actually pretty insane all right, bros, quick update. It is currently nighttime and it's raining on this server. You know what I'm saying? We are still grinding through all of it though, baby, with the earthquake and everything. And hopefully we can go and level up just a bit more to get it to 75. We're at 61 at the moment, not doing too bad. And uh, yeah, I'll meet up with you guys in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has got to be like one of the biggest upgrades or like transformations we have literally ever done on the channel in one video. It has been days we've been grinding over here, but our Tartera is level 74 right now and about to go and hopefully hit 75 any second now. So be sure to go and exit, drop a like if you guys are enjoying the Pixelmon content just before I do go and continue because honestly, this is taking a minute. But guys, I think this is the last one. And yes, 75. That is insane. I'll see if we get anything. And it looks like not. All right. It's kind of an L over there, but at least we did go and get Tartera to 75. That is actually insane. I still can't even believe I made it this far in the video. Oh my goodness. But yeah, take a look at our Torter over here, ladies and gentlemen. We now got to level 75. And we did get a brand new attack earlier in the video too. Oh no, he's kind of glitching out over by that dude. I'm just going to take him back on my Pokeball. But yeah, that was crazy. Oh my goodness. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, make sure to go like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, I'll catch you bros in my next one. Peace out, everybody.